Racism has no place in football, or so we're told. But Glenn Kamara alleges he was racially abused in one of European football's elite competitions. Now, for the first time, he's speaking out about what happened. He came over and he said, well, he said, you're, you're a monkey and you're a monkey and you know you are. And I was like, from there I reacted and I said, he's racist, he's racist. My teammate heard it. I had a lot of emotions going through my mind, you know, um, angry, upset, felt humiliated, you know, all my family, friends, fans, whoever's watching, you know, I just felt, I was taken back a lot, you know, I felt like a little boy, you know, if I could go, go back to the time of the game, I'd walk off the pitch, 100%. Why would you walk off the pitch? Because this kind of thing shouldn't be in the game, um, you know, it's, it's an everyday life thing, I think, I don't know if in our lifetime we'll ever see it change, but, um, if I can make a change in some way, I'll do it. The player he's accused, Andre Kudela of Slavia Prague, denies saying anything racist when he covered his mouth. He says he called Glenn Kamara you effing guy, and his club in the Czech Republic still stands by their player. It needs to be a big punishment. Is that in place right now? Do you think the punishments are severe enough? Probably not, no. Do UEFA protect black footballers? I mean, I know a lot of black players who are tired, who get racially abused. We're then shown racial abuse he has been sent on social media. How often is it that you receive this kind of racial abuse online? I'd say every day now. There has been support for Glenn Kamara, from his manager and teammates and across world football. But he wants to see decisive action from the governing bodies. You're not taking the knee before games anymore? I don't, it hasn't changed nothing. We've done it for a whole season, and towards the end of the season, this come about. It hasn't changed anything. Until football can rid itself of racism, this is no beautiful game for black players. Peter Smith, ITV News, Glasgow.